got off the wires When I close my eyes Disconnected and tired Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jason and you are watching My Hot Shot Life and today we're going to be going over something that we did the other day on a different load board. Today we're going to start looking at the truck stop board. On our previous video, we went into the DAT board, the Dial A truck board, the DAT board, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, we went into that. I showed you a few things there. I'm going to change up what we're going to do in this video a little bit. That one I filmed with my phone and my tripod uh, looking at my computer screen here at home. Today we're going to do the screen record on my iPad. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below on which way you think I should do it. Should I go back to doing it the way I did on the other video if I should continue doing a screen record video like we're doing right now? I'd love to know. Please give me some feedback on that and let me know your thoughts. Anyways, for right now, we're going to look at truck stop and I'm going to hit the login button. And um, because I don't have a cursor here, I'm going to do the best I can to orient you to where I'm looking on the screen and what I'm about to press and what we're about to move with. So right now we are pulling up our basic screen. Let me zoom out. Here is what you see. We have uh, devices connected to um, uh, Wi-Fi here. I also have service on this one. What I'm looking at right now is over on the left-hand side of the screen, you've got your negotiations tab, your chat tab right there. I'm looking just next to negotiations at map, multi-trip, and standard. Today we're going to go over a standard search. When you look into map and stuff, there's a lot more you can do there as far as um, really controlling where your loads are going and you can see like what directions rather than you know having to think about it off the top of your head and remember where each state is, uh, especially if you're new into this. When I was brand new, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I had no idea where Wisconsin was. Um, I am not the most uh, literate when it comes to a map. I can find my way up and down the East Coast, but that was about it. So when I found a load going out toward Wisconsin, I was like, hell yeah, I'll take that. And then I found one going to, uh, 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 was going to Pennsylvania. I said, perfect, I'll book both of those. Well, guess what? Uh, those two states are nowhere near each other. So we're going to look at the standard, um, and I'm going to show you exactly how we go into standard. I'm going to look at new search right here, and we'll pull that up. We're going to look at the origin city or zip code. And I'm going to type in my hometown here where I live in Boynton Beach, Florida. Boynton Beach. There we are, Boynton Beach, Florida. Let's zoom back out. I'm going to do a 250 mile radius search, which means I'm okay with deadheading up to 250 miles. Now a cool thing you can do here is you can go into destination and you can type in if you want to say maybe, uh, let's say we want to go toward, um, uh, we'll say Philadelphia. So we have Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and we'll do a search for 200 miles because 200 miles should put us within about a three hour drive um, from Philly. Uh, maybe four hour drive. Sorry if you guys are in big trucks and you're driving a little bit slower. <laughs> you might be governed at 60, 65 miles an hour and you can't do that. But anyways, that's that. We'll look at that for our radius. We're going to choose our equipment type. And instead of scrolling down, I'm going to type F for flatbed. FS for flatbed step deck. And our favorite, which is the business I'm in, Hotshot. We'll get out of that screen. If you are looking for a specific type of load, if you only want to run uh, specific uh, modalities, you want to look at you know hazmat, tarp only loads, you can click one of these tabs over here on trailer options and you can find it'll, um, 
it'll search for just for those. If I were to click TARP, only things where the broker selected TARP on their initial post, those loads will come up. Uh, so we're going to avoid those TARP only loads. I'm going to look for everything at, and then I can see, you know, TARP loads that'll come up in there. For mode, that of course is your truckload, less than truckload, partials, whatnot. Pickup date. Today is the 15th. Um, and we'll go ahead and look at the 15th here of February. My post time, uh, when it was posted, uh, it will go back uh, standard nine hours. And then everything that was posted over nine hours will have a nine plus. And we'll get into that in a minute. And then we will look at 16,000 pounds because I'm running a hot shot. And that's what we're looking to book right now. If I look at 16,000 pounds, no, I'm not looking to load 16,000. But it gives me the opportunity to see what's in that range. Maybe I can find something at, you know, 15,2. And I might be okay with taking it depending on... Uh, what its size is. So let's hit add and close and we'll move on from there. All right, there you go. So we have pulled up and every time you do this, it will pull up a basic 10 items per page down on the bottom you see there. And we have a total of seven items uh, that are going out that are leaving today. So we'll go ahead and look at just these seven items that are headed out toward Pennsylvania, leaving today. Um, we have a, I'm looking at the, um, if you look in our top section here, you have company, you have phone, you have trailer, age, mode, pickup. I'm looking at the trailer section. It says Conestoga, hot shot, flat, um, flatbed, step deck, hot shot, flatbed, step deck, flatbed, step deck, and then only uh, step deck loads. If I want to go toward... Uh, Let's see, what is this? Sweetisboro, uh, New Jersey. I can pick up in Pompano Beach, Florida. That's going, uh, that's going to be 16 feet long and it weighs 11,000 pounds. I could go ahead and take that there. Uh, let's see what our, what our distance is. If you look all the way over onto the right hand side there, you're going to see miles. And we have just under 1,200 miles is the total distance. So they're looking to pay you. Um, of course, less than a dollar a mile on that. You can probably get a little bit more, but let's go ahead and open this up and find out what we have here. It does say it's looking for a Conestoga, so that leads me to believe it might be a tarp only load. And if it is fantastic, because we do have a tarp, I'm going to look over here on the left hand side. I'm going to scroll down and I have uh, the company name, who they are, and then I have their broker MC, their US DOT numbers. And if I want to, I can go ahead and reference them into um, my factoring company to find out if my factoring company is already set up with them and will do business with them. We have a total of 1,155 miles is what they're saying. They're looking for a Conestoga on this. It says no tarps at the very bottom and it tells you exactly who to contact. Um, then we have, let's see, do we have a phone number on here? Yep, we're going to go to our company area right here. We have a phone number. So we can easily click on our phone number. Uh, we can go ahead and hit call, and then I would be able to contact them. Go over that. I basically, at 16 feet long and it being 11,000 pounds, it doesn't leave me much room to add something else in. But I will say that while I was on that last page, I'm going to go back up here to the top to my other tab for truck stop. I did see this here, a few down, that's 4,000 pounds and it's six feet long. Now, if I'm looking at 16 feet, I definitely have another six feet. And if it's 4,000 pounds, I can add that to my 11,000. I'm looking at a total of 15,000 pounds and I won't be taking up my entire trailer. And that pays another thousand dollars so i could easily turn this into a two thousand dollar run very easily of course i'm going to try and get more on each load but let me pull up this one and let's look we're looking to go to um this is going to new york this is with zmac transportation uh, i have spoken to them on the phone a few times before this is a hot shot load no tarp six feet long four feet wide 
five feet high. That's fantastic. They put all of the dimensions in there, which I'm going to say 80% of the time, they do not put the dimensions. They don't put all the information. You have to make your phone calls if you're going to uh, get the information on these loads. So I know just from that that I can do both of these loads. This is going to be 1,000 miles, just under 1,100 miles, and they want to pay $1,000 on it. So what I do is pretty much call this guy up. Let's see, do I have a name on here? Uh, we're going to call Mike at extension 219. So we'll go ahead and call Mike at his phone number here. We'll give him a call, speak to him for a second, mention the load that we're looking for. We're going to start. The way I do this, I ask for the details on the load first so we can get that right out of the way. He's going to go ahead and tell me everything that I already know. But we're going to go as if we don't know anything. I want him to tell me everything uh, so he can get into the... It's it's about building rapport with the uh, with the broker. And that's how I get the most out of my loads. I build rapport with the broker. I get him to tell me a few things about the thing. We conversate on what the item is. Do we know? Is it palletized? Is it not palletized? Is it just... Sheets that are going to be put up on top of something, you know, what do I need for it? Are we working with straps, chains? Uh, do I need specific things? Because he doesn't have much here. This is most likely going to be a strap only load. You'll probably put two straps on it and you're good to go. It weighs almost nothing and it's a very small load. So it could be nice and easy, but we're going to go ahead and call him up. We're going to talk to Mike for a second and then we're going to get to the part where we discuss numbers. He, of course, is going to, let me see, I've got my other phone is ringing. Sorry about that, guys. Um, All right, guys, so I actually paused the video there. The funniest thing just happened. Mike from ZMac just gave me a call. When when you click on loads, um, they're able to see your company information, exactly who you are. So a lot of times, if I don't call them within about a minute or so, they will go ahead and call me, especially if they need this load moved right away. So Mike just gave me a call. I let him know that this is actually, you know, I'm filming a video right now for YouTube and what's going on. He said that's pretty awesome. I told him that his company's information is going to be in the YouTube video. So give a shout out right now to ZMAC Transportation. Mike, who's out here uh, doing his due diligence and doing his work, man. Um, I'm going to try and upload this as quickly as possible so we can maybe get this load out for you just in case you can't. Uh, but anyways, we'll go ahead and continue with the video. We just spoke with Mike. <laughs> But if I were to take this load, I would uh, push Mike to try and get somewhere up into the 1100, maybe 1150 range because I want every penny I can get for this. Now, the fact that Mike just called me is a really, really uh, big selling point on my part because when he turns around and says that it's paying 995 for this load, I'm going to say, okay, cool. I have a truck in the area right now. They could pick it up within the next two hours. But he's going to need 1200 for it. And Mike's going to say, listen, I can't do 1200 for it. You know, can you do it for 1050 And I'm going to say, all right, cool. Give me a second. Let me call my driver. Guys, I'm the driver. I'm going to say, let me call my driver really quick. And let me run it by him and see what he says. I'll go ahead, hang up the phone. I'll give Mike a call back in about a minute and a half. I'll say, listen, he's counteroffered. He wants to do it for 1100 Can you do 11 and Mike is most likely going to turn around and say, yes, we'll do it for 11 Let's go ahead and get it booked. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is getting our carrier packet together and all of that. We'll go into that stuff on another video. But we're not done here. What we're doing right now is we're booking our entire truck. We've only taken up, go down here, six feet of our trailer right now. We have to go over to our other link coming from Pompano Beach, Florida with International Transport. And we're looking at our 16-foot load. Now, we'd have to go ahead and contact this guy. 
Uh, we do not have a name on here, do we? No, it just says dispatch. So we're going to contact dispatch and run through the exact same program that I just told you we were going to do with Mike. Now, this company has not called me yet. Now, it's not a bad thing if they don't call you. Um, it gives you the opportunity to call them and, you know, you'll call them. You'll let them know that, you know, you've got a truck in the area can pick up within the next hour. I'm going to let you know that Pompano Beach is literally a 15-minute drive from my house. So I'll tell him I can pick this up in the next 45 minutes, have the driver there, have everything ready. He's within a 10-minute drive from you guys. Uh, but he needs this load for 1200 Can you make it happen for 1200 He's going to come back and say, I can't, but can you do 11 And what am I going to do? I'm going to say, let me go ahead, hang up with you really quick. Let me call my driver and ask him if he can get this done for 11 So I'll hang up. I'll call him back a minute and a half later. I'm going to say, listen, he's pretty set on 12 He's in the area. He can get it for 12 If not, he's got something else he's looking at. Um, you know, do your thing, give me a call back, you know, whatever you want to do. And nine times out of 10, and this is the exact way that I do this, I will most likely get this for 1150. And it's all about getting that extra little bit out of the way because that extra hundred dollars, we're looking at 1050 right now. If I can get it for 1150, that extra hundred dollars is a fuel or is a tank of fuel plus some extra cash, plus more for, you know, the next tank, whatever it might be. That's more that I don't have to invest in my trip. So I'd be able to get this one for $11.50. Let me go back in here. And we had spoken here. We were able to get this one for $11.50. We add those together, guys. We're looking at $2,300 for something that we were originally looking at uh, for about twenty for about $2,050. So... We've just added $250 to this setup, and that had worked phenomenal for me. I would go ahead and take this. It wouldn't really take that much for me to go ahead and do this. I just put the stuff up on the trailer after doing our, our talking. If it required tarps, I'd throw a tarp on top. Make sure you guys get paid for tarps. Make sure you guys get paid for chains. If it is a standard load and just needs straps, guys, you know, go with your standard numbers. But if it needs chains, I add more money for chains. If it needs tarps, you got to add for tarps. If it needs air ride, you're probably looking at double, triple uh, what these rates are right now if you have an air ride trailer and if it needs air ride. Uh, that's what I found when I have dispatched for air ride drivers, guys. And when I say dispatch, I am not in the dispatching business right now. I will be in the future. We will be doing dispatch. Um, I'm sorry I let that one slip. I wasn't supposed to put that information out there just yet, but we're building up to that. As for right now, though, we don't have a dispatch program. That'll be coming up later on. Um, but anyways, if you guys have any questions, definitely leave it for me in the comments section below. I'm going to do the best I can to get back to everybody as quickly as possible. Um, I'm always here and constantly on my phone writing back to almost every single message and every single person that comes through on YouTube. Uh, even the guys who are just giving a little bit of support saying, you know, good job, nice video, whatever it is. I always say, you know, thank you very much for the support guys. I love the feedback. I love seeing it from you guys. So if you're the ones that are out there putting that out for me, giving me those thumbs up. Thank you guys very much for that. Hey guys, did you like that video? If you did, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this. As for you, I hope you drive safe out there on the roads. My name is Jason, and this has been My Hot Shot Life, and I will, as always, see you on the next one.